Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Roblox Tutorials. Um, if you've not seen some of these like tutorial things before, and if you've not seen me do the the what was it, the live stream where I was showing you how to make this stuff, this is going to be something a little bit different. I hope it works out okay. I'm not really sure how this is going to go. So, um, let's see. First thing I wanted to show you was definitely the. Um, hold on, where is it? The developers wiki. So let's fade that over. If you head out to wiki.roblox.com, you'll be led to this main page right here. All right, and there's tons of tutorials. So make a game, learn more cookbooks, and and just overall everything that you need to know to get started in on Roblox and building and awesomeness. What we're gonna do is learn Roblox tutorials. Now the reason behind this is I looked at these and I as much as I love reading and I love doing everything else. It's just not in my nature to sit down and read a whole bunch of stuff. So I thought a lot of other people are gonna be wanting that as well. So instead of like you having to go out and read it, I'm gonna go through each one of these tutorials and read it out to you and demonstrate what I'm doing. So if you wanna follow along, the first one we're gonna have is basic modeling. Um, feel free to open up Roblox Studio and follow along if you want. So let's just get back into it. Let's do this. Okay, <clears throat> well, I gotta go find a new. Oh, looks like I've already done this one. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. <laughs> All right, basic modeling, making an office building. We will start off by making a building with a single window. So insert three new parts into your game by using the part button. All right, so up here at the top, if we look at model part right here, we just go block, block, block. There we go. So we have all three of our blocks just like that. That's simple enough, right? Okay, and it says two, um, let's see, uh, two of these will be the frame and the last part will be the glass of the window. Be sure you change the colors and materials of each part. So for these two parts right here, I'm gonna hold control and click on the second part. So like, click the first one, hold control, click the second one. I'm gonna change its color to like a darkish black color and then we're gonna take this one we're gonna change its um, size. So hit over to model, if you're not already on this tab up here at the top. Hit the scale button. You're gonna take this down. Oh, my scaling's off. All right, control Z. Okay, I want these to be one by one studs. I'll explain what these are later on, but rotation and movement, always make sure it's at like 45 and one. If you have it at 45 and one, you, like that's the basis of most, Things. I think it's default. Anyhow, this way whenever you move it, it's moving by one unit. So one unit by one unit, Boop. like that. Uh, as we've seen in Lumber Tekken 2, that's, that's a one by one right there. So, oh gosh, what happened there? All right, control Z, 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 Z. If you ever mess anything up, just control Z it. You'll be fine. And here we go. We're going to make this one Oh gosh, it did go by by ones. Okay, so let's squish the, these all down to one, like that. Boop. And then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna make it one, two. Let's see, that's two, three, four. Um, four should be fine. And squish the side. There you go. So now that should be the base frame. We're gonna take this part, just drag it on top right here, and make sure it's the same height as well. And yeah, let's go a little bit higher. Why not? One, two, three. Like that. One, two, three. Yeah, that looks good. It's kind of like that, right? Uh, the way I'm moving around is I hold on to the right mouse key. That allows you to look around inside this uh, three-dimensional area. And then you use WASD to actually fly around. So W is forward, S is back, A is left, D is right. Um, Q, hold on. Yep, Q goes down, E goes up. So you need to go up and down. Sweet. All right, well, let's make this transparent a little bit. Um, the way you do that is select it. Oh, uh, let's change its color as well. Go ahead and do a nice blue color. Not that, that blue. Let's change it to a, like a, is that a, that's good. That's fine. And then come over here, and you're gonna look for transparency inside properties. If you don't see properties, just right click on the part and go down to properties, maybe, 
No, you don't do... <laughs> Wrong programming language. Okay, um, come over here to view, and then find the properties window, which should already be selected. Output command. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, the big button on the far left code that says properties on it. Make sure you click that right there. <laughs> okay, over here, make sure you have your part selected. Find transparency, and you're gonna go 0 0.55. It's gonna make it where you can actually see through it. Um, the reason you do 0 0.55 is transparency is anywhere from zero to one. Zero would be zero percent, one would be 100%. So right now it's 55% transparent or 0.55 transparency. So I hope that's uh, explaining a little bit. Next we will make the glass see-through in the properties window. Oh, it's, that's what I just did. I explained that to him. Uh, find the property called transparency and set it to 0.5. Well, I did 0.55, so that's fine. Um, you need, uh, we need more than one window for our building. So um, in, instead, instead of creating a new one from scratch though, let's copy the one that we have by clicking and dragging uh, all the parts on the window and then using the copy and paste button to make copies of it. Place uh, each copy next to the original. So, drag, drop, all right. And there should be a copy and paste button somewhere. I don't see, it. oh, copy. And then there's a paste, like that. We're just gonna move this. Just like that. Now, instead of doing it again, I'm gonna grab both of these and do another copy, another paste, and voila. Just like that. And that's starting to make a little pattern of an office building. See that? It's so pretty. Okay. Um, something else is instead of using that copy paste, you can use control C and control V. Copy and paste. Control C is to copy. Control V is to paste. Now that's too, too much. So let's follow the instructions. Sorry, I was going to read these out loud to you guys. Uh, you can also use the duplicate button uh, to make copies of your selections. Paste several windows and arrange them in a line. Perfect. Um, select the entire row of windows, copy and paste it, and place it on top of the first row. Repeat until you have several ro rows stacked together. So that's that's fine. Do -do -do -do. Copy, paste, and then... Okay, that did not... There we go. So there's two different ways that you can move this. Since we're on the model selection and we have move selected, we can grab these arrows like that and move them individually and through things. Or we can grab a portion of the model itself and it allows us to like place it like if we were placing something inside lumber or against something. And it does line up fairly nicely. So um, just do that. I'm gonna do that one more time because I only want Whoop cheese. Control Z. Alright, control V. There we go. One more time. I only went three story building this time. We did a big one last time, but that's okay. Um once we have several rows stacked together. Select the entire stack of windows, copy and paste, and rotate it by 90 degrees. Move your copy so that it fits next to the first stack of windows. Now what they're talking about here is taking this whole thing. Copy, Control C, Control V. Move that on out over here. And now on the rotate, click rotate button right there. And find the green, which is the Y axis. So you have X, Y, Z axis in 3D, uh, three dimensional spaces. If you turn that one, see how I'm doing 45 degrees? That's the constraint up here. Now I can change that to a 15 if I wanted to and it'll give us a bigger amount of rotations that we can move, but I don't like that. I like sticking at 45. I only go to like 15 when I need more precise or I just turn it off completely by unchecking the box and then it gives you like this crazy detail of how you can rotate things. Control Z, undo that. 45, go back over to the move. I'm just gonna move this right in place. Oops. Oh gosh, and something that we forgot to do was anchor all these parts in place. 
That's gonna be troublesome here in just a second, and I'll show you why. Okay, come on, dude. Get on to the thingy there. Er, er, it's not. Why are you not? Just slide in there, dude. Slide, just right, it's not. Eh. Okay. Hm. Well, let's close. Nope. Hold control, grab that. Nope, I missed one. Which one did I miss? This is this is horrible. Horrible code. We should not be teaching these classes. Yes, I should. I should totally totally teach these classes. Okay. I'm gonna move this down to 0.25, so it's very small movements. I'm just gonna move this right there. And right there. Oh, too far. Right there. So it's more precise right there on the edge. Um, also, that's that's a great example right there. Checking that to 0.25 is one-fourth of a stud. One by one stud. I'm going to set that back to one before I forget. Okay, but now we've got this... Nice little V shape. We're gonna take all of those. Control, copy, control, paste. Control C, control V. And now, all I should have to do is rotate this on this axis by, oh my goodness. Why did it fly up there like that crazy? Okay, as you can see, it's off by one stud here. So we're going to hit that move button again, and we're still moving by one stud, so I should only have to go one stud to the right, and one stud to the back, and then just move that down into place. Perfect. Although we are now um, crossing into our second building. <laughs> no, code! Alright, can we move this whole thing out of the way? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I knew I did something right last time. I modeled it. Okay, so uh, select the entire stack, rotate it 90 degrees. There are hotkeys, Control R, Control T, that will, uh, and your selection will rotate 90 degrees. Oh, I actually didn't know that. Control R and Control T will rotate at 90 degrees. Um, select both the stacks and paste them, rotate them with the 90 degree tool, move the copies so that they fit next to each other's, uh, each. So it fits next to the other stack. Perfect. Insert the uh, a new part and scale it to the bleh, and use the scale tool to cover the top of the building. So we're gonna do that now. Um. Okay. Actually, are we going to do that? Yeah, we are. Change the color to black. Bring this up to the top. We just want to kind of angle ourselves so we can see the top of the building. Actually. Here, I'm gonna gr drag this and then put it on top like that in one corner. Perfect. Scale. Let's just scale this out. Good. Scale it out this direction. Perfect. And there you have it. So, um, a couple of things that the tutorial doesn't tell you. These parts are not anchored. So if we were to play this right now, all these parts are gonna fall down. Something that you can do at the very beginning before you start building is when you first place your part, before you copy and paste it again, come over here to its properties and look for that anchored and just check it. Okay, and that will prevent it from falling over later on. Um, if you have already built something, you can select all the pieces just like that. Come over here and you should have the anchor button. Now, if you've grouped pieces together and they weren't anchored, you'll have to ungroup them before anchoring them, otherwise it, it won't anchor correctly. But here, I'll show you I'll show you real quick just what happens when you don't anchor these. Okay. By the way, whoa, whoa. you can hold shift in my uh, in my code primate labs. We we did that on live stream. Falling down. Yay! 
Um, I'm actually going to leave this one unanchored just as a cool example of what not to do. So if you want to want to go into the world and see the unanchored building, if it's already fallen down, then I mean somebody's already knocked it down for you. So um, actually, I know I can't I can't do that. I can't leave it unanchored. Oh goodness! All right, let's go back and anchor, and we're gonna go Control G to group. Oh, 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 oh yep, to group these all into one model. And I'm going to rename that model by pressing F2 and going Office Building 2. And there you have it. Thank you everyone for watching this tutorial. Um, there's going to be a lot more to come. And hopefully they will go much smoother than the very first one. Uh, each one of the tutorials should be in order. I'm going to make a huge playlist for you guys. And hopefully you, you enjoyed. All right, love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the, the video. Those are just called call to actions. Love you. Thank you.